So for this one, you're going to need to SSH into your device. I recommend WinSCP for the PC and Cyberduck for the Mac, both of which will be in the more info. So once you've SSH'd in, you're going to go back once, back twice, and back a third time. So you're at the very back slash. And you're going to go to System. Then in System, you're going to go to Library. And then Launch Daemons. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make a folder on your desktop or wherever you want. And then just take all these daemons, highlight them, and then just drag them in and copy them. So now this is my backup set. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it. And now this is the set that I can actually tamper with and I can actually uh, delete the ones that I don't want. So now to find out which ones you do or do not want, you're going to go to this website and you're going to just scroll down and you're going to uh, pick all the safe daemons and delete all those and then conditional daemons make sure you read what each one does and delete all those and then device specific daemons you can delete some of those if you want and leave alone daemons make sure you leave those alone jailbreak daemons make sure you uh, keep those if you want that app still and uh, yeah I'm just going to go ahead and delete all the ones that I don't want you can, to find the one that you want to delete, you can use a search. For example, I could search for com.apple, and uh, I could just delete one of these if I didn't want them. But I will be back when I've finished deleting all the ones that I do not want. Okay, so now I'm back, and I've deleted all the daemons that I don't want anymore. And as you can see right here, I went from 81 files to 55 files, which is definitely a big jump. And in order to apply these changes, you're going to bring back up this SSH client right here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to select them all again. So, and then just delete every single one of them. And then come into that folder where you made your modifications and select all of those. And then just copy those over. So now that we've done that, I suggest that you keep that uh, backup that we made and just keep it in a safe place. If you want to return to the main selection of this video, just click inside of the bubble. So now we're going to have to SSH. Again, your SSH client will be in the more info. And once you have it open, you're just going to go back one, back another one, and back another one. So you're at the very beginning. And just go to the TMP folder and take this file. I will have it in the more info. Rename it to whatever you like. I've already renamed it to T, so I'm good to go. And just take it and drag it in and then click copy. So once it's in there, you're going to launch the terminal of your SSH client. Uh, mine is just right up here, that little black icon, and then just click OK. Enter your password again if need be, and by default password's Alpine, same as your SSH client. Then you're going to copy this command, it will be in the more info, and just paste it in. And then where it says name, delete that, and just put in whatever you named it. Like I said, I named mine T, and then click execute, and you're good to go. And you can exit out of your SSH client for now. So now after you've resprung, you will see terminal right here. And I'll click on it just to show you guys that it does work. And there we go. So now we have to actually do the remove languages. So you can come to this site for a reference and to get your downloads. Uh, there are two different downloads that you can get. You can either get the one that lets you pick which languages you want to delete manually, which takes forever. Or you can pick this one, which it says this deletes all except English and Japanese, which uh, the Japanese is for Emoji icons. So I just clicked on that. And you don't have to worry about the latest lang pack. Uh, I just don't even deal with that one. And like I said, I'm getting the one that deletes all of them. You just click download, and then you can click show in folder, and then just drag it to your desktop. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our SSH client, and we're going to end up going to var mobile. And then inside of var mobile, you're going to copy it and rename it to whatever you want again. I'm just going to name it lang, L-A-N and then hit enter and then we're going to come back to our device here and then you're just going to load up terminal then once inside of terminal you're going to type in su and hit return password by default is alpine a l p i n e and then once you're here you can just uh, press period and then backslash whatever you named your file mine was lang.sh and then just hit return and it's asking me if i want to delete them all except english and japanese and i'm going to click y so now I will be back when uh, my iPhone is finished deleting all of those language packs. Okay, so now that it's done deleting all those language packs, uh, it would be a good idea to reboot your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad. Just click inside of the bubble to be taken back to the main selection of this video. 
Okay, for this one, you're going to go into Cydia. So now that you've gotten to Cydia and it's finished loading, you're going to go to the Manage tab at the bottom, Sources, Edit, Add, and you're going to add this source, gumballtech.com forward slash Cydia. And once you've added that source, you're going to go into it, and you're going to scroll down, and you're going to get this iMemory Enhancer. And you're just going to click Install, and then hit Confirm. So it is actually finished uh, installing that. And once it's done, you're going to have to reboot your device. And then uh, once it's finished rebooting, you're going to have to respring. And uh, I will be back when mine has finished both of those. Okay, so now I'm back and everything has taken effect. And I actually had to swipe over in SB settings and go to processes and then hit uh, free up memory. And as you can see, before I went into SB settings, I had uh, 80 megabytes of RAM, and I have 80 megabytes now as well. And before, uh, if you guys watch that one, uh, you saw that I was only getting uh, 50 to 51 megs of free RAM, and uh, that's a 30 meg difference of RAM, so that's incredible, guys. So uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, I hope you guys subscribe, and just click inside the bubble to be taken back to the main section. This is ICU, signing out.